Haley here with the Polis for December 19th, 2012, presented by LongboxRadio.com. This week from DC Comics, we have Supergirl number 15, Hill on Earth, uh, right there, which is, I don't read Superman or Superboy, so I have no idea what this event's about, but I'm sure the uh, book will catch me up on that. Wonder Woman, coming to us from Brian Azzarello and Cliff Chang, is the other DC book I got this week, number 15, a uh, book I've enjoyed. It's a lot of fun. I don't know. Not a huge fan of uh, Wonder Woman, but I do like Brian Azzarello, so... Anyway, moving on to IDW, we have Judge Dredd number two. Picked up the first one just because I don't know a lot about the character and I've never picked up a D Judge Dredd comic before. I did enjoy it. So here's number two. Um, if you've seen the newer movie, if you've seen the old Stallone movie, you kind of know what you're getting into. It's a lot of that. Uh, cool little re revolt of a bunch of robots in here, which uh, stories I always like. So uh, robots getting theirs. So it's all good. Um, saga number eight, uh, easily my favorite book, new book of the year. Come to us from Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Uh, we're, I think we're getting a flashback in this one to see how our two main characters there kind of met and fell in love and whatnot. Um, so we're really looking forward to this one. A great book. If you haven't been reading Saga, do so immediately. Uh, Thief of Thieves, also from uh, Image Comics. I'm a few issues behind on this one. I haven't been reading them re uh, lately. But uh, Asmus is on the uh, the scripting right now. Kirkman has the overall story there. And that's number 11 for two ninety nine. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, I've been enjoying the book so far. Speaking of... Uh, enjoying books. Uh, Jonathan Hickman brings us uh, Avengers number two coming to us from Jerome Pena as well on art. Uh, the first issue of this book was friggin' fantastic and if you read it you know what I'm talking about. Uh, apparently it's bi-weekly now which is just more than my brain can even handle. Uh, that comes with a free digital copy. It's $3.99. I'll have the digital copy coming to you after the credits just as always so stay tuned uh, after you see Hulk's big smile and face and you'll see some uh, free codes there. So definitely check this one out. Uh, it's a fresh take on the Avengers. If Bendis Avengers wasn't doing it for you, which I can't imagine why, but awesome, fresh take. Jonathan Hickman, you are kicking ass. The art's great too. That's how you do a damn team book when you relaunch something. DC, pay attention. Uh, Avengers Arena, a book I wasn't intending to, uh, I don't know, pick up. I did like Avengers Academy. I like the, the characters that that... that that book spawned, uh, such as Hazmat and Metal, and, uh, well, they did a little something with Hazmat and Metal in the last issue, which, uh, will keep me interested, actually, so I'm gonna be picking that up. No free digital, uh, code in this one, that's coming to us from Hopeless right there, so, um, we have Murder World, if you like arcade, all you arcade fans out there, uh, Murder World is back! Daredevil number 21, Mark Wade, of course, uh, I think as of, like, an hour ago, just won a bunch more, uh, greatest... Greatest Writer of the Year awards or whatever it is. So, uh, well-deserved, really, really neat book. All the covers of this book have been super, super cool. Um, if you saw them all, like, lined up, I think it would be quite an interesting thing. They should make a poster of that. Marvel, are you listening? Speaking of awesome, uh, Hawkeye... Marvel's just kicking ass this week, man. Uh, Hawkeye, number six, from uh, Matt Fraction. Uh, and Aya, of course... A Aja? Aya? I'm sorry. Uh, on the art, it's amazing. So, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, but this is issue six, of course... Uh, great page layouts. Again, uh, everything about this is awesome. So pick up Hawkeye. If you don't care about Hawkeye and you want to see what just a perfect match uh, of a creative team can do, this is it right here. Also in Daredevil, apparently Superior Spider-Man is supposed to show up in this, according to Mike Haynes. Uh, maybe not as, uh, you know, in costume, obviously, but we'll, we'll see what happens. They're kind of intriguing. Uh, Indestructible Hulk. That's what happens when you have a good continuity going. Uh, Indestructible Hulk, which has a uh, free code, so look forward to that. Hawkeye needs to start having free codes. I want to take this with me and show it to people. So, come on. Let's, let's make it happen. Indestructible Hulk number two from Mark Wade, uh, the aforementioned Mark Wade, and uh, Lionel Yu. Great book, great art, great writing. Holy crap. Uh, that's a great team for this book. If you like Hulk, uh, if you want to like Hulk, probably a good place to start right there. So, Enough said. Rick Remender, also a great writer they have over at Marvel. Uh, and, hey, a free digital copy. What do you know? Secret Avengers number 35. I believe this is maybe second to last Secret Avengers before this book either becomes nothing or becomes something else, to my understanding. So uh, that's, that's what it is. It's been a really, really good book. The only time it dipped at all was during event stuff. Uh, be it, I think Fear Itself crossed into this when it first started. Yeah, it did, definitely did. Uh, that and AVX, that stuff hurt this book so bad but past that recommenders run has been amazing uh it's the whole the whole shebang is actually pretty good if you ever buy them in a bundle or something like that your comic book store i do recommend it thor coming to us from uh jason aaron another free digital copy there uh this is issue three i've read the first issue really really dug it didn't read the second one yet i did however if you've been watching the pull list week in week out read uh, a shit ton of Ultimate X-Men. I caught up on that book. I was six issues behind, so I'm caught up on all the, uh, the Reservation X stuff, and I really, really dig it. Brian Wood, as I kept saying without reading the book, uh, is a good fit on that book, and I, I do enjoy what he's doing with it. So, speaking of Thor, though, Jason Aaron's Thor, uh, super, super cool take on Thor, and kind of bring it back to the, uh, the basics. 
four. Uh, Thunderbolts, coming to us from Way and Dylan. I do like Steve Dillon's art. I didn't read the first issue yet, but I did pick up the second one blindly. I assume it'll be okay. Uh, <laughs> based on the team, it's got to be, you know, there's got to be some ass-kicking going on. Ultimate Comics, we have Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number 18 with a free digital copy, and we have Ultimates 19 with a free digital copy. Uh, this is probably my last issue or two of uh, Ultimates, just because I have so many books I pick up week in, week out. And Spider-Man, uh, which I felt this whole event thing with him, kind of Captain America coming into it and be like, we're going to train you and all that, really killed the momentum this book had for what it was doing. Miles kind of learning how to be a superhero and how to step into the huge shoes of Peter Parker. Uh, and I think all this kind of stuff really, really, the pacing's all off now. Like, I used to be super excited to pick up this game and read, uh, this game, this, uh, this book and read it, and now it's kind of like, eh, yeah, Spider-Man, I'll get to it when I can. So, a little disappointed. Anyway. That are, that are my books. Those are my books for the week. Uh, I still don't have a banner here, as you notice. Uh, still using the crappy laptop, which is on in the background. I should have turned that off. It's going to be distracting with this radiant light coming out from over my shoulder. Uh, we're going to try to do a podcast of some kind. Uh, Mike has some extra money, so he put it into advertising. We want to get something out there. But like I said, our recording stuff's kind of compromised right now. We're going to do a year-end uh, something or other, kind of say what our favorite books are of the year, what we think we should pick up. So take a look for that. Uh, Mike's also going to start giving out some digital codes for free on our Twitter address. Uh, I'm LBR underscore Lee. Uh, I you know post stuff there sometimes. Uh, uh, at Longbox Radio though is where Mike should probably be retweeting those codes. So if you want some more free digital stuff, and he reads some different stuff than me, so uh, I know All Star X Men. Uh, old new X Men, rather. It's been a long week. Christmas is coming up. Uh, he's gonna have on there, so check that out. But that is the books for this week. That is a hefty stack. Next week, apparently, books are delayed. It is Boxing Day next week. Locally, here I asked my comic book store, and they said uh, that they were given an invoice not to sell anything until January second. Now, ASM seven hundred comes out next week, and I want my hands on that book as soon as possible. Uh, I have no idea yet if digital stuff comes out, so it may just be me sitting here. Uh, pull list for the twenty sixth might be me doing a dramatic reading of ASM seven hundred. Who knows? But uh, looking forward to it. So that's that. Have a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, a Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever else people do this time of year. Have a good time. Be safe. And Happy New Year's if I don't see you. That's the polls for this week. Sorry to ramble at the end there.